Well, hey church, it's great to be with you today. My name's Julie Kia, and you will find me at the Central Campus and I am involved in all things wellbeing. Um, so it is fab to be here with you today and wherever you're watching from, which, whichever of our locations, wherever you are in the world, whatever time of day it is, um, I'm really um, honoured to be able to bring you some encouragement for your day. And um, I'm going to a bit cheeky today because I've got not just one but three scriptures to read to you at the start of the day so I hope you're ready um, because I'm going to kick off with Psalm 110 verses 1 to 2 where um, it says there the Lord said to my Lord sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet the Lord will extend your mighty scepter from Zion and you will rule in the midst of your enemies. And then Ephesians 1, 19 to 20 says that power is like the working of his mighty strength when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly realms, far above all rule and authority, power and dominion and every title that can be given. I love that. Not only in the present age, but also in the one to come and God placed all things under his feet and appointed him to be the head of over everything for the church. And then finally, Ephesians 2 verse 6, and God raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus. Wow, I am loving these verses. And that's a lot of scriptures for us to start the day with, but wow, what incredible truth they contain and help and encouragement for us in the midst of our lives. Now you'd have noticed in those verses that there was a lot of talk of enemies um, and you know every single one of us today I would guess without exception um, faces metaphoric enemies in inverted commas whether that's financial challenges, family difficulties, relationship problems, concerns for the present, concerns for the future. But what I love, love, love about these verses is they give us incredible guidance and direction as to how we posture and position ourselves in the midst of our daily challenges. Psalm 110 is a big psalm. And if you're curious about theology, um, Google a commentary on Psalm 110 to get the fullness of everything that's in there. But in short, David had a revelation that one day Jesus the Messiah would come. He'd gain victory through death on the cross and take his place in authority at the right hand of God. And, you know, the right hand of God signifies a place of power, a place of authority and ruling over everything. And it culminates in Psalm 110 with a shout. And I say a shout because there's an exclamation mark over it. It says rule in the midst of your enemies. It's an exclamation. And the Ephesians verses, so just why are they there for us today? Well, they add the New Testament context to the truth of Psalm 110, basically saying it's happened. Jesus did come, he did die, and he did win a victory for us. And then we're told of our position in Christ. Jesus was, was raised up with God, he was seated in heavenly places, and then an invitation was extended to us. So our position today, your position today as you, as you kick off your day or as you put your head on your pillow is that your position is ruling, it's sitting with God. And even more than that, everything, these verses tell us that everything that belongs to God also belongs to Jesus and everything that belongs to Jesus belongs to us. Oh my word. So today an invitation's offered. We have already got that position. It's almost like a name place has already been put on the table with your name and my name on it. But 
when we're in the midst of our enemies, it's sometimes really difficult to actually remember that where we're positioned and where we're seated. So today, I reckon the outcome of us taking our position is actually peace in the storm. Um, as we recognise where we're positioned and who we're positioned with, we can sit back with our feet up on the footstool, reclining in the victory we have. Yes, our enemies are still right in our faces. The difficulties, the challenges that we face are still there, but we know the end. And as we recline, God goes to work on our enemies. So I want to encourage you today, go and rule in the midst of it all. It's been fab to be with you this morning. Have a brilliant day and see you soon, maybe in church this Sunday in whatever location you're nearest to or online. We'd love to see you there. Take care now. Bye.